Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Fritzy, and for today's video, I'm so excited to do because if you watch me on Snapchat, I bought this facial pore cleanser machine or tool from Amazon and I just got it today within less than 24 hours. So I'm pretty excited about this. So it's a little vacuum that will suck your black and white heads on your nose or around your face. I've been wanting something like this because last time I had a facial, it was like a few months ago, they had some kind of vacuum and they vacuumed out the blackheads off my nose and it worked really great. But I just can't go to a facial place all the time because the way my checking and savings account set up. <laughs> I actually saw this on Instagram or at least something similar. I was trying to buy it off Instagram from this Instagram account but it was sold out and I didn't want to wait so I went on Amazon and found this thing. I'll have the link down below because I'm not really sure about the name of this product. It doesn't really say here. It does but I don't know. Sometimes they have like different boxes for these. Yeah, so I'll just have the link down below. On Instagram, they were selling it for like $35 and this one was on sale for $49 and the original price for this was $100. And I got Amazon Prime, so I got it within less than 24 hours. So that's pretty cool. And now we're gonna do my first impression demo thing. So hopefully it works and hopefully I don't hurt myself because I really don't know how to use this. And I'm scared because I don't want my face to get bruised up since I have a lot of events this month. So. Yeah, and before we get started, I know you guys are probably thinking like I have perfect skin already and stuff like that. So I didn't put my reflector on the table so you guys can see like my blemishes. I use my reflectors just so my face looks like it's glowing all the time, but it's not. So this is how my skin looks like. So I have no makeup on. I just washed my face with a cleanser and I have some breakouts here. And this is like a scar from a bug bite and then scar from acne and then I have a new pimple right there more pimples right here I have I have like really bad white heads around this area and then really bad black heads on my nose and as you can see all this like dark spots right here those are black heads and I actually took pictures, so I'll insert the photo so you guys can really see my skin on HD. And then I also have like white heads around this, around my chin, and pretty much around my face. Like I can feel the texture on my face. They're kind of bumpy. I just don't want like a bumpy skin. So hopefully this suction tool really works because I am done, you know, applying makeup on and it it's not sticking because my face is textured. So this tool came in with four different heads or yeah I think that's what you call it and one is a micro crystalline head there's a large round hole there's a small round hole and an oval hole. So when you open up this box so you'll see the tool so this is the main machine and then there's one beauty head that's in there already so which is the big one and then see the small one the oval and the micro crystallized um, beauty head and then it's a USB charger and it comes with the stand so prior to this I had to charge it and then it also came with like like a sponge that you put in like a filter and some rings like a stopper for the for the heads and it also came with some instructions I've already washed the heads so it's sanitary for me and I went ahead and read the instructions on how to do this it's very self-explanatory but if you don't know I'll try my best to do it step by step with you so before we start there's this power button right here and there's a plus and minus sign depending on how strong you want this tool to suck <laughs> all right so the first thing they said to do was wash your face with a face wash so I've already done that and then pat it dry and if you don't have a steamer at a facial steamer at home to open up your pores then you can use a hot towel and leave it on your face for about 10 minutes but 
I don't have time for that. <laughs> so I'm actually going to use, it's kind of ghetto, but I'm actually going to use my steamer for my clothes. And I've been using this bad boy. This is from Con Air, nothing special. It was like, I believe $30. <laughs> At Target. So if you're gonna use it for your face, you can use bougie water if you want, but I don't really care. Water is water. So low setting, and then I'm gonna click on this trigger so the steam will come out. I don't know if you guys can see that. So it's really coming out. So I'm just gonna do that over my face. I do it like about this far, and then I move the steamer around. So it's not focused in one area, just so it doesn't get too hot. Sometimes it's kind of hard to breathe with this, so just gonna work in there. So I'm gonna do my nose first. And then as you can see, I'm just, my face is starting to look misty. It feels so good. I just can feel that my pores are opening up. I'm just going to go ahead and turn this on. So you have to hold it down for it to turn on. And you can hear it. It lights up. So this is the lowest setting right now. I'm going to try my best. Okay. I'm going to try my best to... Not my mirror. To do it on my nose. So it's said uh, to... <gasps> oh, that's strong. It's only on the first setting. It's okay. The redness, it's okay for now because I, I am a little sensitive. So I'm just gonna try to go in in this thing. Oh. Okay, there's a little bit dirt. Like, can you see the ring? There's a little bit of dirt in there. Okay, so now I'm trying to do the second setting. So it's a bit stronger. Oh. Wow. Oh. I don't know if it's taking out. Oh. It feels funny. Okay, so I'm gonna re-steam my face because I feel like my skin is getting tight again. So same thing, I'm just gonna go back with my steamer. So you wanna do this a few times because then once your face dries up, your pores start to close up already. So you really want your pores to be loose so all the dirt can just come out. But it's actually, I'm pretty surprised it's taking out some of the whiteheads already, but that's only on the second setting. So I wonder what's gonna happen when we do the fourth setting. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the third setting. Oh. 
Like it doesn't hurt, but it just feels weird when it gets stuck on your skin. I look so funny right now. Okay, let me check. Let me check my skin real quick. See if okay. I still see whiteheads that are sticking out, and I see a little bit of bruising here already. Hmm. It did say that it was gonna bruise or get red. For like the first 30 minutes and then it should go away. It probably doesn't stay like that. It does feel a little bit smoother. Okay, let me steam my face one more time. Now I'm going to try the fourth one and see if that works. Ah. I see it coming out. <gasps> I got some Q-tips. I just want to show you the stuff that came out of my nose. I'm just going to scoop it out. You guys can see there's like a, a black head and then it's mostly like white head so okay so I change the beauty head to the oval one so maybe it'll get into like smaller corners of my face Okay, my white head's definitely less than when I started. I don't know about this oval beauty head. I feel like it didn't really get anything compared to the bigger hole. So I'm going to go back with the big one. And I'm just going to see my face one more time. Do the rest of my face. And then that's it. Alright, so I'm going to go with my chin. The highest setting. Oh. <laughs> you know what? Okay, I'm gonna go lower. Oh, <laughs> now my chin is red, but it's getting something. Oh my god. I'm like, I'm gonna go crazy with this. I'm just going over the areas where I usually break out. So I'm on the first setting now. I think that's it. I can't take it anymore. It's starting to hurt like my face. See how it's like really red now? Maybe because I'm sensitive, I'm just gonna scoop out whatever that's in here. It's like earwax. It's kind of gross. Can you see that? Those are like the black heads, the white heads, all the dirt those in my face. Okay, let me tell you guys my final thoughts. Oh man, oh man. It's so hot in here now. So for my final thoughts, if I'm gonna rate this product, I would give it like a seven and a half. Seven and a half because I really thought that it would just suck out all of my white heads and blackheads all together like even from just doing a few swipes but I really had a hard time just sweeping it across my face or my nose and as you can see I don't know if I did it wrong but it's really red right there and I, I think it's bruised up and I think it's gonna be there for a few days I'm telling you I mean I'll update you guys on snapchat but yeah it looks pretty bruised up 
It did say on the directions that you can use this twice a week. So maybe my second attempt using this will be better. So I'll wait a few days and maybe I'll do something different. Maybe I'll shower first with like hot water so my pores will be really open and then I'll go in with this like really fast and see if I have any more whiteheads or blackheads to take out. My nose feels a lot smoother now. It's not as rough. And it's not as bumpy or texturized. If I look at it like really close, then yes, I still see a few spots with the whiteheads. But on those spots, it's already red. And I don't even want to try to keep going over it because I don't want to have a bruised up nose. And it's going to look like someone punched me or something. And then for my chin, I really had a lot of whiteheads around my chin area. So feeling it now and then looking at it, I could barely see see any whiteheads so I guess that's a good thing it really worked on my chin with a big rounded head but for my nose it's kind of like it's like 50 50 no more like 70 30 70 percent was gone and then there's like 30 percent left but maybe the whiteheads or blackheads on my nose are a lot stubborn than the ones on my chin the nose is kind of like stiff too so it's harder for it to just glide but I feel like my chin skin is a lot softer than my nose so maybe that's why I was able to like come out without a problem and then around here it does feel a lot smoother and then on my forehead I didn't really see a difference so maybe I just didn't have whiteheads on my forehead that much I know you guys are gonna ask about the pain if I have to rate it I would give it like Probably a three and a half out of 10. There's some areas that's very delicate or very sensitive. So those areas you want to lower down the setting to the lowest. And, and even though it's on the lowest setting, you can still feel the pressure of it. So you just want to do it like really fast. And then the slower I got, I think that's what happened here. It just stayed there. So that's why it bruised up because I was pretty slow in this area. I thought... You know, like doing it slow would just suck out all the whiteheads, but it didn't. So am I going to keep this product? Probably I will because I want to give it a chance because maybe I use it wrong. Or maybe I just have to do certain things for it to work. So I don't know. I'm really going to test it out. But I just wanted you guys to see my first impression and my first demo using this before I do any other techniques using this tool and I'm kind of bummed out because of the videos that I saw on Instagram and Facebook when they use this they look so calm so every time they use it on their nose or their skin you can tell like there was so much whiteheads or blackheads that would come out so maybe it's just my skin maybe I don't have that much whiteheads so that's why I couldn't really see a lot in the beauty head so will I recommend this product I would say 50 50 if you're not used to something like this I wouldn't recommend you doing this on yourself like make sure someone's there to help you but if you're like me likes to pick on things then go for it I, I think it's a really great tool because I feel like when you exfoliate sometimes you don't really take out everything that's there so maybe this just helps to take out like the excess oil that was left from exfoliating or whatever you were doing and yeah I can't really hate on this and then if I miss any other information about this product I will have it on the description box so make sure you guys check that out and I guess that is it for this video thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys liked it and I hope you guys learned something and if you haven't already please do subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this one and so if there's any other tools you guys want me to try and do a demo and review on just let me know down below i'll try my best to do those for you thank you guys so much once again and i will see you on the next one bye guys